the brown boys, the brown boys, the brown boys, we the brown boys, the brown boys, we the brown boys. I want to know, was I out of bounds? Somebody think that I'm out of bounds for calling out Steph Curry, calling out LeBron James. My, my comment section was mixed. And I'm like, wait a minute. Hold on. How can you have it both ways? How can these guys be the leaders of the black community? How can they be the kings? How can this man openly admit that he's not going to shut up and dribble? How can he be a leader and stay out front on certain things, stand up for certain things, but then not say nothing on other things? So I'm, I'm confused. What did I say wrong? What did I say wrong? These men have daughters. These men are very popular. Too much is given, much is expected. Uh, they already declared themselves more than the game. You know, it's it's funny, it's interesting when people say things, oh, I mind the game. And then you say, okay, if he mind the game, how come he don't know these simple things? And who taught him how to mind the game? You know, who taught him how to mind the game so I can know if, if this is credible? Because we can look at who taught him how to mind the game we can go from there. But if you're telling me he just fell out the sky learning how to mine an NBA game, then I think that's bullshit. I think it's a narrative. And the more you ask questions, the more you know that people are full of you know what. If he mined the game, why does his son get to skip the line? If you have children, if you have daughters, why can't you see that this is not appropriate? I don't understand. They use these guys for political reasons all the time. Oh, the whole the entire Golden State Warriors is not going to the White House. Why? You earned the right to go to the White House. Oh, because they don't like Trump. Oh, so it's all about who we like, for real. So Trump did something to Steph Curry personally. Trump did something to the Golden State Warriors personally. Oh, they said Trump had locker room talk and said he'll grab him by the P word or they'll allow him to grab him by the P word. And then you see Chris Brown getting paid thousands of dollars to pick your girls up, to hold them by the bunky. And maybe you don't like the word P word, but <clears throat> if Trump was wrong about what he said, because so many people misquoted what he said, if Trump was wrong about what he said about a man being so famous that if some woman that'll let you grab them right in the vagina. Cause there are some women like that. Uh, and I know some of you ugly niggas was shocked by that. And some of you broke niggas was shocked by that, but he was telling the truth. Cause there's some women that love money more than they love anything. And so they will let you grab them right in the P word. Now let's get to the facts of it all. Chris Brown said hoes ain't loyal. And he charged him $1,100 to take a picture. Do you know some of these women are bending over and he's smacking them on the ass and they're paying him money to do so? Do you know that some of these women are being legs are being cocked up and wrapped around this man and he's holding on them like they're in relationships? Some of them are getting down on their knees, taking a picture, acting like they're about to give them a blowjob. So I know for the sensitive, ugly folks in the back that always want to be outraged by something, Chris Brown is proving that what he said was true. After he told y'all, y'all hoes wasn't loyal. <laughs> oh, man, y'all some sensitive motherfuckers. See, it's all about perspective. I've seen a girl come up. I've seen a girl. I've been around some very, very influential, powerful men. And the things that you see women do and the lengths that you see women go to get these men attention or to be around these men is amazing. The lengths... The staying in the lobby to three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning. The sneaking in these men's rooms. These men have, I've had to beat women off with a stick down there. And not, I'm not, I'm saying that metaphorically. I didn't actually beat a woman off with a stick. But I'm saying the things and the links that women go to, to get the attention of the type of men that Trump is and the men that I've been around, you would be astonished. So when you hear a man say something from his perspective and you may have not have had that happen in your life, cool, I get it. Stop trying to be so outraged because I promise you there's a lot of people in this world. Everybody don't do the same thing.
Some of these people, their whole life is scamming and scheming off of another person. They want a piece of their presumed social power. Absolutely. 